This is the end. This is the last Jetson Hacks video of the decade that has lasers. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, I'm going to show you how to do a five minute install of Intel RealSense cameras on the NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. In the latest Intel RealSense SDK release, there is an option to install Live RealSense from a binary repository. What that means is that Live RealSense is already compiled for the Jetson, and all we have to do is download it for our Nano. We are using Jetpack 4.3, which installed L4T 32.3.1. Intel now recommends using USB video class for the back end of LibRealSense on the Jetson. An added bonus of that is that we can use webcam software to interface with the RealSense cameras. We will use the Cheese application to try that out. Let's install LibRealSense. On the Jetson Hacks Nano account on GitHub, there is a repository named Install LibRealSense. Let's clone that repository, get the address, and switch over to that repository's directory. Let's look at the readme. All we have to do is run the install LibRealSense script. Password. It's adding the keys to our Intel repository. Installation complete. If you had any issues installing this, it may have been due to the Intel repository keys. Let's take a look at that part of the script. Install LibrarySense.sh. Here's where it adds the key to your key server. And then it adds the repository. So try those two independently to make sure that they work. Now we're ready to run our demo. Okay, I've just plugged in the D435i into the Jetson. Let's run the RealSense viewer. That's a good sign. Start it up. You can see that we're running the Intel RealSense viewer version 2.31.0. Firmware update recommended. Okay. One of the nice things about the new RealSense releases is that you can update the firmware directly from the RealSense viewer. Let's install this. Firmware update is underway. Magic is happening. It seems upset. This is pretty common in the firmware update land. You disconnect and reconnect to the USB controller during the update. Let's expand this to see what I had to say for itself. Let's visit through here. It's updated. Went into recovery mode. Firmware download completed. Firmware update completed. Waiting for the device to reconnect. We know that it reconnected. Could it be that it's ready to go? Let's see. Okay. Let's turn on the RGB camera. There I am. So it looks like it's ready to go. Let's go full screen. So it looks like I have some pretty good frame rate here. Let's turn on the stereo module. We get a little bit of stereo action here. Here's our depth map. Motion module. Well, that didn't go too well. Let's try 3D mode. So 3D mode appears to work. Let's go back to 2D mode. After the firmware update, it doesn't look like the motion module displays correctly. 
Let's try restarting RealSense. Let's replug the camera and see if that fixes our issue. Firmware updates are always a little tricky. And let's run the RealSense viewer again. Okay, let's turn on the motion module. There it is. I won't move it around, it's on a tripod. RGB camera, that's on there. And the stereo module. So everything seems happy now. Let's go into 3D mode. Throw on the RGB color here. There we go. It's the real sense that we all know and love. Here's the shark. Oh, the shark, dear. It has big teeth, dear. We're sitting pretty close to the camera here, so that's why we get this big black shadow. You can see the registration's a little bit off. The outline of the shadow here shows a little bit of the RGB color map. Let's try installing a T265. It's a tracking camera. Plug it in here. Hmm, connected. Let's add a source. Here we go. There it is. Let's see the camera here. Let's go into 3D mode. Now when I move the tracking camera, you can see that our view changes. So that's kind of fun. So it looks like they both work together. You need to update the firmware on the D435i. Let's see how it works on a webcam application. Let's open up our Cheese webcam booth. Hmm. Not exactly what I was expecting. Let's take a look at our preferences. Device, Intel RealSense depth camera. Let's try the second one. There it is. That's more what we expect. 1920 by 1080, let's try that. So that's a pretty good picture. That's a decent picture. And that's how you install LibrealSense in around five minutes. This is much easier than having to recompile the kernel and add device drivers. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, the shark, dear. It has big teeth, dear. And it keeps them pearly white. Oh, the shark, dear, it has big teeth, dear. Sing it, come on. And it keeps them, oh, pearly white.